Chelsea's current predicament needs to be studied. It is unlike anything else we have ever seen in traditional football lore. It is crazy. Egg Barley, Bowley, Clearlake are eating that club alive like one of those sort of tapeworms that you get in your tummy and sort of taxes you for every bit of food you eat. I think coming into the Premier League, Todd Bowley kind of saw himself as a bit of a disruptor. He thought, he thought, you know, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to make a, a bit more money. I'm going to squeeze more money from this than is currently being done. And that has clearly just not happened or has not yet to happen. He kind of came in and said, you know, look, this is what we're doing in American sports. This is probably, you know, how you should do it as well. You know, you could learn a lesson from us. And I think as as audacious and kind of arrogant as that is, it just has not come off at all. And it's kind of embarrassed him a bit. Like the All-Star game, that was never going to happen, was it? Like when when would it happen? And what if players get injured? You know, these, these valuable assets to big clubs, what happens then? You know, it's a bit of a piss take just kind of coming to another continent like that, another league, you know, something you don't really know anything about at all and trying to give a lecture to other people that have been working in it for decades. I think we now know that this clearly isn't a sporting project from Clearly Egg Barley and Bowley. It's it's all fallen apart and the money spent over these years, you know, it, above a billion pounds by now, it's is absolutely ludicrous. They haven't really come here in with a vision to be successful in a sporting sense. That is my opinion. They've come here to buy these players, you know, they've seen what Brighton have done, they've seen what a few other clubs have done, you know, selling these players for incredible money uh, and they want a bit of that. They want a piece of that. So what have they done? They've gone out, they've bought this guy, they've bought this guy from Brazil, you know, from wherever, and they've accumulated such a massive squad that they almost don't really know what to do with it anymore, you know? When Enzo Maresca has to split training up, that is when you know there is a problem. There are 22 players in Enzo Maresca's training that are split off from the main group. That is how many of them there are. And that's why I think they haven't really gone for an experienced, well, experienced in a Premier League sense manager, because they want to just train up these kids to become, you know, as good as they can possibly be, and then ship them off to, to whoever and, uh, and sell them for a massive amount of money. Money, but I know I think the problem with that is who is going to buy them because you can't really sell them to Premier League rivals at ridiculous money. So who is going to buy them? You know, the Serie A has been bust for a while now. They've got no money. Maybe La Liga, Madrid, Barca, probably not Barca. But who is going to buy these players? That is the real question. And, you know, this disaster off the pitch has kind of shown itself on the pitch in a way. You know, they lost to City. That was kind of expected. 2-0. No Rodri. Just kind of steamrolled them over. No problems really there for City at all. And then 6-2 uh, to Wolves. That was a bit of a, a fluky game because the XG was about 2 and they scored six goals from it, which is kind of crazy. And then Crystal Palace won one. So it's just been really underwhelming for Chelsea so far. You know, for the amount of money they spent, we shouldn't be having conversations about them, you know, potentially being in the top four. You know, that's just outrageous. How, how are we having these conversations about Chelsea? They should be up there having the money they've spent. And it's true that they've kind of reduced their Premier League wages. Uh, they've reduced their wages to about £60,000 a week per player, which isn't actually, which, is, which isn't actually too bad on average. The problem being that they have 40 players, so that actually that adds up quite a lot. But it is a significant reduction in the amount since Roman Abramovich, where it was where it was more in the 200,000, you know, ridiculous money. And now you're telling me that Todd Bowley, Clearlake and Egg Bali have all fallen out and they're looking to buy each other out of, of ownership. What an absolute disaster. And Chelsea fans, I feel bad for them, you know, trying to convince yourself that your club is onto something. You know, there is a project here. Something is going on. It is positive. And then for this to just come out like three games into the season is so hard. It must be so heartbreaking. Todd Bowley looks like he wants to buy out Clear Lake. Clear Lake look like they don't want to sell. It's just going to be a saga that goes on for a while. And it is honestly just embarrassing. How can the players, how can the manager do their job? How can they get the best out of the players and win games of football while this is going on off the pitch? It's just a disaster. And Todd Bowley, Egg Barley and Clear Lake are to blame, in my opinion. It is just a joke. Bringing all these players together, no particular vision, just a vision to sell them for as much money as possible. And you really, re you reap what you sow. And that is what they have now. They have a ridiculous amount of players, which they can't possibly keep happy. But yeah, what an absolute disaster of a club. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, though. Also, if you're curious about the new Champions League format like I was, then maybe, maybe check this video out. That could help.